Good morning, good afternoon, good day. Wherever you are, I just want to make sure I'm saying the right thing. Anyway, this is TriStar. Wagwan, YouTube. What's up, peep? It's been a while. All right, this is it. This is my first trip back out on the road after what? Six months? Four? Eight? A year? I think I was out for a year, yeah. With Landstar, by the way. I was still working, but was off for a year, you know what I mean? I, 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 sit, I sit out the storm, you know what I mean? I'd sit out the storm, right? So I'm back. This is actually my first trip, and the new truck is on the journey with me. And today is the official where I want to introduce the new truck to you guys, right? Now, I have some names in mind for the new truck. But before I give you guys, or tell you guys what the name I have for the truck, I'm gonna ask you guys to give the truck a name, right? So I'm gonna pick between the names that you give and the one that I have already. But there are certain things you have to uh, consider. Well, you got to put it in the name. But the name would have to start with V-O-L, Vol. I'm not going to go beyond because this name is, you have to create the name. You know what I mean? So it's starting from Vol. V-O-L and then the rest. I don't know what you guys are going to put on the end of it, but you have to catch it, have to sound. Yeah. So anyway, for now, this is the new truck without the name as yet. Like I said, like I said, I have some name in mind, but I want my subscribers to look into it and say, you know what? I'm going to give the name to the truck. So put your name in the, in the comment section and let me uh, take a look at it and see who will come up with the best name for the truck. Right. So, but anyway, this is it. Um, the official look that I want to give you guys. You know what I mean? Um, 2020, right? It's not a bad. It's, it's not. A, it's not a bad truck. Um, drive very well. And don't worry, the review for this truck will be coming out soon. But you don't. You know, I have to drive it first. I have to get the feel of it. I have to. I have, I have two trucks to compare it from, with, right? So, I have to give it like a like a two weeks of three weeks of driving, fuel, everything included. I have to give you guys, you know, if it if it, if it worth if it worth it, you know what I mean? Going to this type of truck that the other truck that I had before, that you know what I mean? So um, this is fairly new. I'm gonna say it's a new truck, but it's not a new truck. It's two year old, but it's fairly new, right? So we're gonna consider it as a new truck based on purchasing older truck versus a newer truck and see what the result is. Normally I would have to go for a month running for a month for stuff like this to get the, the, the ideal thing if I want to go within fuel and repairs and stuff like that. But I'm going to give it an early review before I go into details with that type of thing because I would need like two months to kind of uh, get the real feel of it and especially uh, based on payments, to make back payments on the truck and uh, any repair or anything that comes up within the time or anything just to give a, give a better understanding of new and, no, semi-new, almost new, and used, right? Uh, it's not going to be a fair comparison against a new, new truck, but it's almost there. You know what I mean? But anyway, guys, you know, it's a boy Troy starts trucking, and I know you guys may wonder, then Troy, why, why are you, uh, you know, still on with Landstar? Or why you don't, you know, just pursue your uh company and you know continue on the journey and stop you know on and off and but it's not like that okay it's like this you have to understand that uh the old trucking industry right now like the trucking itself it's extremely slow most of who are doing it now can tell you that it is not this the same after the pandemic right there's a lot of you you have the ups you have the down right but um I, i'm not scared don't don't feel i'm scared because like i said i was off for a year but why i'm back i'm back because i want to explore i want to make sure I'm, I'm i'm getting a touch of everything that i can and also where i'm at at the moment of drivers running and me myself was working there also and what was happening now is that the, the work is kind of getting slow there the, the trips you know what i mean a uh, certain amount of trips the drivers want to do per day and because of the the how slow it is now, if 
if I'm there and you know I'll, I'll have the work the trips lower or shorter the trip the, you know like let's say a driver would do like three trips per day if I'm there you're gonna cut down to two so me leaving <clears throat> we make a difference right so so that's it so anyway um apart from that I have a lot that I want to explain to you guys right um, first is why I was off so long right and the second is why, 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 why now? Why come back now? Or off so long, why, why didn't I stay where I was, right? So, to answer those questions is one, simple. It's just very easy to answer the question, but most people won't even understand why. So I have to break it down, okay? Um, well, it's not so much to break down, but at one point, I decided I wasn't going to get caught up in that uh, pandemic thing that was going on the other day with that force type of thing. You guys understand what I mean? I didn't want to get caught up in that type of thing, right? So I try to stay out as far as possible away from it, if you know, as I could. And that was one of the main reasons why I was off, not coming over to the US because crossing the border, then you'd have to, you know, indulge, right? So I, I steer away, right? Now, um, coming back is because I didn't complete what I had to do. I was on a mission, and the mission had, had, had uh, stages that I want to do and complete before I actually go, because all of this is also in the plan. Now, I always tell you guys to stick to the plan, but sometimes you, you can change the plan if it makes sense. If the new plan that you're going to do makes sense, right? But uh, if the new plan that you have still need a piece from the first plan, then you have to complete the first plan, right? So that's what's happening now. Being back at Landstar, I'm finishing the plan that I had, what I, what I had before, and I wanted to complete before. Because basically the, the, the world stopped for about two weeks. Well, it didn't stop, but for most hardworking people, for people that had stuff doing, the world had stopped for them because they had to stop what they're doing. Uh, some, some people were home, some were still working, but they were working, but others wasn't. So some of the stuff that you want to do, you have to go through others to get it. And if others wasn't working, it still stop you in so many words. Like you cannot get to do or complete what you want to do because the institu institution or the location that you want to go is closed. So it, it still stop you in so many ways, even though you were working. So th th that's... That's part of what I want to explain, right? And there's more that I don't want to say in this, right? Because then I will start a different type of conversation. But tune in. That's all I'm saying. Tune in. I'm back, guys. I'm back. Troy Stars is back. I have a lot to teach. I have a lot to say. I have a lot to show. And I have, to, I have a lot to prove. Because remember, this is starting from me as a company driver, right? In 2013 to where I'm at now. It's a, it's a big change. So anyway, guys, not going to stay too long because this is my pickup and uh, this load is going to Michigan. I'm picking up in Montreal. I'm going to Michigan, right? So this is my first, first trip. So I'm going to walk you guys through my first trip and hopefully you, you guys stick around, right? So I'm picking up this asthma, it's asthma load. I'm picking up an asthma load going to Michigan. Um, what time is it? One o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, I, this delivery is for tomorrow, Saturday. I have a pickup in Michigan that is going to Saskatchewan, right? It's another asthma load again. And yeah, so I'm picking up two loads and that's about it, you know what I mean? So anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. There's a boy I so I struck in. And like I said, I will, I'm gonna walk you through my trips and yeah, that's about it. It's a journey. Peace, try stuff. For more videos like this, please subscribe. <laughs>